Welcome to Comfort Havoc number two. This is probably my only video for tonight. It is now midnight. At least it will be in like 10 seconds or so. Um, this is a very important video. I want to say it's for children, but it's not for children of a particular age. So a wrestler passed away at 22 years old. And her name is Hana Kimura. Cause of death reportedly determined now. Alright, so I'm going to read this article, man. And, um, this is some sad stuff. And, you know, as an entertainer who is undiscovered, it saddens me greatly when someone who's actually made it is their life. And, um, this is the first entertainer that I've talked about because a guy did this when, um, his career finally took off with Veronica's Closet. A Brooke Show show, whatever. And he killed himself, and he was like 30-something. This was a few years back. So that's why that show didn't get a second season. So, um, first to her family, my condolences. Hana Kimuru, Kimura. I'm not saying it right, I'm sorry. I'm not really well with Japanese, but I'm going to spell her name out for y'all. H-A-N-A-K-I-M-U-R-A. -A, a professional wrestler where Japanese promotion stardom and the cast member of the new Netflix series Terrence House was found dead on Saturday at 22 years of age. The news of her passing first broke on via Starcom Twitter page which announced stardom fans we are very sorry to report that Hannah has passed away. Please be respectful and allow some time for things to process and keep her keep your thoughts and prayers with her family and friends. We appreciate your support during this difficult time since the news new details of her death have come out of via Wrestling Observer newsletter Dave Metzer. According to the Metzer, Krimera died after ingesting I have no idea how to say this, so I'm gonna spell it out for y'all. It's hydrogen something. Um, this is like hydrogen sulfate. That might be what it is. I'm going to spell it out for y'all. Um, H-Y-D-R-O-G-E-N-S-U-L-F-I-D-E. -E. He explained that the concerns about her death first popped up when she, um, posted a tweet early Saturday morning indicating that she was going, she was going to, um, cause self-harm. She went out to tweet. It was in the middle of the night. And one of the Jap Japan was known because um, they were all asleep. And Kari Sane and Kiri Hojo was in stardom. She was, um, she I guess was, she was, I, ah, shit, I'm sorry. I guess was up and somehow saw the, saw it and called the office. And he said, he said on a reach on a recent Wrestling Observer Radio, she called uh, Jungle Koya Kainoa. I ain't saying it right. J U N G A G L E N K Y O N A, and she went to the house. But by the time Jungle K got there to the house, it was too late. Saying confirmed that via tweet. Translated from Japanese. I'm able to notice her tweet right away because it was afternoon in the United States, but at this time it was midnight in Japan. So I called the Jungle Screamer and Rozzy Ogawa to with Io immediately saying, said, Kiyoro went with all her might. However, it didn't make, make it in time. The incident of the terrorist house and her subsequent reaction recently resulted in Kimura being uh, one of the receiving end of cyberbullying, which um, she indicated in her final tweets that did some serious damage to her mental health. Nearly 100 francs of op opinions every day. I can't deny that I was hurt. Kimura wrote, I am dead. Thank you for giving me a mother 
It was a life I wanted to be loved. Thank you everyone for who supported me. I love it. I am weak. I am sorry. I don't want to be human anymore. It was life I wanted to be loved. Thank you everyone. I love you. Bye. Hana was 22 years old, Paige wrote on Saturday. Please let it sink in. 22 and had her whole life in front of her. Online bullying should not be a part of life. It damn sure should not be a part of death. Hana was 22 years old. Rest in peace, Hana K. Now, before you flag me, YouTube, these are the things that I do. These are the things as an entertainer that it honors me to make sure that people understand that cyberbullying is not a joke and it affects adults just as bad as it affects children. And we as adults need to grow up. And to all you cyber bullies out there, man, what is your problem? Why would you do this to hurt people? This is a very pretty young lady. And her life was ahead of her. And from what I've seen on Stardom, because I can watch it on YouTube, and y'all should too. She was, um, she was okay. No. I think that before you, um, get out here and start doing stuff, you know, you really want to think before you cowards start typing stuff behind the machine. See, the thing about cyberbullying, you cyberbullies are really badasses. You, you're super cool. You're bad. You're strong. You can say things behind the machine because no one can see your face. But there is a Japanese proverb, and being that she's Japanese, I thought I'd use it. If you sit by the river long enough, you will see the bodies of your enemies floating by. That translates into America is, you're not their only enemy. And to the cyber bully that did this specifically. I hope you burn in hell. And YouTube, if you want to flag me for that, that's fine. But this shit has to stop. Cyberbullying takes more lives from the ages of 30 years old to 14. And this needs to be addressed. As of late, there really is no legal ramifications in quite a few of the 50 states. I don't know how it works worldwide, but in America, there's not a whole lot you can do about cyberbullying. There's not a whole lot of charges you can push because technically you can't be charged with murder if you force someone to commit suicide. It's not murder. This young lady is 22. I'd kill to be 22 again. But the way this world works, man, it, it's, it's, it's a damn shame that no one got to her in time. It's a damn shame that nobody does mental health checks with their friends. Now, I suffer from depression. And my friends, for the most part, they check in on me every now and again. Um, I owe a lot of my life to Mass Effect. It has saved me a lot of times when I feel really, really down. And depression doesn't really go away. You can control it. You can maintain it. You can divert yourself from it. But you can't totally cure it. But you can work on it so that it doesn't control you. And I've been doing pretty damn good lately. I have my moments. But I've been doing pretty good lately. And when I read stuff like that, it only hurts me more because I'm powerless to um, help people in the same boat. No. This is Comfort Havoc number two. BC and you.